me, that's all right. Today our driver is Glenn. Everyone say hello to Glenn. Hey, Glenn. Well, wonderful. Together, me and him, him and I, we're going to lift that veil of secrecy for you on some of Hollywood's hottest filming locations. And we're going to do that today with the help of our brand new host of the studio tour. You know him from Late Night, you know him from Saturday Night Live. He's the very funny, the very talented, Jimmy Fallon. Oh, hey there. You made it. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'll be making sure that you get through this experience in one piece. You've got the very best guy. Very. And the greatest driver. <laughs> They're the best. I love them. Even though Harry owes me five bucks. I know you guys are excited to get on the tour, but first, a few safety rules. Yes, Nick, folks, there are some safety rules because safety rules. That's right. Now, if you have an emergency of any kind, or if you drop anything on the floor, let me know by pulling the emergency cord. It's above you. So try to see what no. That's right, Frank. We ask that you please stay in your seats at all times. Keep your arms and legs beside the tram. Uh, no, Frank, that's not good. Don't smoke on my tour, all right? Even if you are a Frankenstein monster. Finally, be prepared for anything like uh, loud noises, fire effects, sudden tram movements, the possibility of getting wet. Make that the likelihood of getting wet. Those are your safety rules. A lot of wetness on today's tour, folks. If you have cameras and camcorders, that's perfect. Use them, but watch out for the wet stuff, okay? All right. Right now, we are entering a real working movie studio where we film lots of your favorite movies and TV shows. TV shows like CSI, Crime and Investigation, ABC's Desperate Housewives, NBC's Parenthood. That's the name of you. There's a lot going on today. Why? Because a lot happens here every day, that's why. Because here at Universal Studios, we shoot movies, TV shows, commercials, music videos, and deer when they're in season. <laughs> okay, fine. We do have a lot of things here, folks, including this right here. Check it out. Broadcast of the 1939 New York World's Fair. 
Since then, we have reviews and tell them why it's the greatest shows on television. Shows like Friends, ER, Seinfeld, Cheers, Coffee Show, Monk, The Nickers Girl, and the No Scrubs, Heroes, Laughing Out, and Tony Rock. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. Side of South State is 43 and 44. 43 and 44 are both views to film the hit NBC show Parenthood with Lauren Graham, Craig T. Nelson, and Peter Krause. Before that, 43 and 44 were both views to film Crossing Jordan with Joe Hennessy and Jerry O'Connell. TV means a lot to us. We're NBC Universal. So we're NBC, E, Sci Fi, USA, Bravo, Telemundo, The Golf Channel, CNBC, MS NBC, The Weather Channel, Oxygen, and Versus. We are a media powerhouse. You should fear us. Or watch us. Left hand side of here, lots of tiny buildings. They resemble apartments, but don't be fooled by that. These are actually production bungalows. And production bungalow is a really fun way to say office for writers and producers here on the lot, working on TV shows and movies. And they want a place to write, produce, make phone calls, check the Facebook, take a nap, make a sandwich. They can do that here. A lot of our offices have bedrooms and have kitchens. They are very, very accommodating. In fact, coming up on the left-hand side, you're going to see Bungalow 5184. It belongs to Hasbro Productions. Hasbro produced movies like G.I. Joe, the Transformer series, and coming soon from Hasbro Productions, Clue, Battleship, and Monopoly. All movies coming out in the future, and if we're all very, very lucky, Yahtzee. Fingers are crossed on that one. Thank you for laughing. We also have a bungalow here for Illumination Entertainment. It belongs to a producer named Chris Melodondri. He brought us a movie you may have seen called Despicable Me. He has a new one in theaters now called Hot. Let's tell you more about that. tells the story of the son of the Easter Bunny who's been raised to follow in his father's footsteps. They're centered on Easter Island. Underneath all the massive heads is this magnificent candy factory. It reminds me of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And Pop, we're going to bring to life all of the iconic characters of Easter in a way that you've never seen before. We're now in our world-famous back lot, where the world is literally just around the corner. Yeah. You may recall back in the summer of 2008, we had a big fire here at Universal Studios. Uh, that did happen, and in that fire, we lost about four acres of our sets. Our city street sets, our metropolitan sets, but uh, 2008 was quite a while ago. Since then, we've had time to rebuild what we lost in that fire. And I won't say the fire was a good thing, but I will say good things came out of the fire. By that, I mean bigger and better sets in the back lot, which you're seeing right now for yourselves on the right-hand side. Our brand new Metro sets. But you know what? Throughout all the new Metro sets in the back lot, there is an old location that survived the fire. We're actually entering it right now. This area is called Courthouse Square. It's been here for over 60 years at Universal Studios. In fact, it's where they filmed the first episode of Twilight Zone back in the 1950s. But you might know Courthouse Square better as Hill Valley from Back to the Future. Left hand side, famous clock tower is still here. Looks a bit different, but that's the same building. Also used in movies like Psycho 2, To Kill a Mockingbird. It was actually Buffalo, New York, Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey. And of course, it was the year 2015 for Back to the Future Part 2. Lots of movies have filmed down here, but also a TV show filmed down here for quite a few of those years. It was called Ghost Whisperer. 